Hello everyone, Andrew here, and I would like to introduce you to Tobor, our newest robot arms. You can see that we have two of our prototype units here, and I want to show off a little bit of what is coming and what is in, going to be included in these robots. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this one here. You can see that the Tobor module here is going to be basically everything that you see contained right here. Uh, it is everything that you're going to need to have a robot go um, in one small package. So nothing else is really needed with this to get you started, getting you um, doing all kinds of different projects. So basically what we have here is uh, two, stepper, uh, two stepper motors, rather. We have three stepper motor drivers, so you can get X, Y, and uh, Z out of this if you want. And we also... Um, it comes standard with a CNC motor controller. We have eight NeoPixel lights up here for machine status and different kind of um, status controls. We also, it comes standard with the edge board ports so you can add different peripherals, um, different sensors or tool heads or different kind of input output devices and everything to make it easy to get you started and going with whatever it is that you want to create. So let's go ahead and look at these encoders. You can see here that we have theta, which is going to be like the shoulder joint. And you can see that when I move this around, you can see that the numbers here are changing for theta. And the same thing with phi, which is like the elbow joint. So. What you're going to be able to do with that is you're going to be able to uh, home the machine without actually having to uh, hit any kind of end stops. You're going to be able to program Tobor by dragging the arm around, and uh, many other things are nice with having encoders. So again, uh, the Tobor module here comes standard with Wi-Fi. Uh, it runs Python to make it easy to program and also is a standard with a 200 millimeter length between our joints here. And with a standard tool head, that's going to give you 400 millimeters or over 16 inches of reach, allowing you to create all kinds of different projects and uh, large um, operations. So let's go ahead and look at the different tool head options that we have here. For starters, uh, our base model is going to come standard with the pen tool head here that you can see. It has a little servo that is going to move up and down the pen. And pens are good for uh, learning how to create code for the robot to um, run jobs and to understand tool chains and learn about work offsets and to, you know, just give you a generalized understanding of how everything is going to work and how you can interface with Tobor in various options. So, you know, pens and paper, they are very cheap, readily available, and allow you to move very quickly as you learn uh, this new platform. Continuing on, we have the third and fourth axis tool head here. Let's go ahead and move this tool head out of the way. So with this one here, the standard is going to come with the arm unit. It also comes with two motion platforms up in the front here. It also is going to come standard with a stepper motor and a fourth axis. Uh, these two motion platforms here, you can mount two different things on here if you'd like. It comes standard with a Z stepper motor. It's also going to come standard with the vacuum pump here, and it's also going to come with the suction cup vacuum head attachment here. It's going to allow you to get started on different types of pick and place operations and get you going on different uh, jobs that you can do with a suction cup and also uh, easy to learn and figure out how to interface with different sensors and um, run different kinds of code. An upgrade from the pick and place tool head is going to be the actual SMT pick and place um, tools that are going to allow you to put together something like a circuit board. So you're going to get the SMT um, suction cup and little tool head fitting here, and that guy will just go on exactly where you see the suction cup here. Included in it also is going to be a camera module. 
let's go ahead and pull up this cam camera module. So here you can see that we have dragged a camera element into our GUI here. And you can use this to set up different kinds of, uh, you can use this to set up different kinds of jobs or to verify that uh, things have been placed or picked how you think they are, uh, the ability to, um, you know, have the robot actually uh, change things in real time based on what is actually happening. So again, cameras are useful for all kinds of different operations, whether it be for um, machine setup or different kinds of uh, advanced, uh, or it can also be used for different kinds of advanced operations. So let's continue on again some more. Um, and so, yeah, this is going to be our pick and place tool head. Um, it is also going to come standard with a couple of feeder modules. So with these feeder modules, you can automatically interface. They will um, automatically feed off of these SMT tapes here and allow Tobor to come and pick up components. They also have associated GUI elements with them. So you can go ahead and set up your tool rack and say what parts are in these. And you can also, you know, feed from the GUI here and everything. Uh, the way that everything is designed here is to allow you to easily configure different things and put them together into um, a single cohesive unit that is easy to use and easy to understand, and most importantly, easy to modify for whatever it is that you wanna do and to share with other people. So I'm really looking forward to what everyone is going to create. And uh, yeah, I'm just very excited to see what happens there. So let's go ahead and um, Take a look at the GUI uh, real quick here again. Um, let's go ahead and work with the uh, pick and place, or I'm sorry, the pen tool head module. So let's go ahead and we're going to pull up the GUI for that. So let's go ahead and look at the program that is used to create this. Um, so here we are in the program and we're going to just take a look at this little chunk right here. Uh, we have a checkbox here that you saw on the front that is for setting the pen. So as we change this checkbox, we are going to get a true and false come out of there. We are going to look at our true and false, and we're going to either return a zero or a one because the um, slider element here is going to want a integer. And so we will be feeding that into the slider, and the slider is going to go into a PW element, PWM element that is going to be actually controlling what the servo actually does. So if we look at this on the front end here again, we have this set pen, and you can see here that as I click set pen, we are going to move up and down the pen. And you can see also that this set pen, um, pen position slider here is going to be also changing when we change this. And you can see also that we also can come in here and set exactly what we want um, for our pen position to be. Um, so again, you know, this is just very easy to create elements that can give you some really uh, novel um, control elements for your robot. Okay, so here we are looking at another little program that we have written here. Um, let's go ahead and we'll just look at the code here real quick. So we'll look at our canvas and you can see here that we basically just have four elements here that are just viewer, viewers that are gonna allow us to look at the code and see what the robot is gonna do. So again, we have a few different um, G-code elements inside of our viewers here, and you can see that the corresponding code is up here. Let's go ahead and change some of the colors on these real quick so that we can kind of see a little bit what's going on here. Uh, we have our call to action job here that is going to write a little bit of text. We have our checkers, which is gonna draw the checkerboard. Again, a bunch of this is created for the video that we um, released to our crowd supply campaign. So we'd be really happy if you go ahead and take a look at that. You can find the links and everything on our site or down in the description of this video. Again, um, we wrote the, um, we drew the checkers board, which also you can see in front of us here. We 
um, drew a picture of Einstein, which is actually out of the frame over here, and you can see the video for that. And um, we also have some more text here. Let's go ahead and have some kind of yellowy color. And you can see here that um, we have a bunch of different elements that the robot will actually be drawing here. And you can also see where the robot is going to draw them. And again, take these and feed them into either other operations that can go ahead and modify them or transform them or you know mix and match different things to uh, create all kinds of unique programs. The idea behind this is that we have just a few very easily modifiable elements and you are able to take them like an erector set or Lego blocks and put them together in ways that will create novel um, things for you to create what it is that you want to do. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, I think that this is a uh, comprehensive enough little quick video and you can see here that we have Tobor and we are really looking forward to you uh, being able to have these in your hands and create all kinds of awesome things. So again, you know, Flow, the programming environment and Tobor are made for sharing. You can share different scripts, share different canvases and programs, share different tips and tricks for getting Tobor to do all the different things, uh, create your own and share different tool chains for getting programs from different files to do different uh, kinds of operations and uh, create all kinds of fun things. So again, we have a crowd supply campaign page. You can find the links to that down in the bottom. Come to us to see more tutorials, more updates, and uh, we're really looking forward to getting these in your hands and allowing you to create amazing and awesome things. So thank you very much for your time.